Alrighty, what's up guys, back again for the second vlog on my channel. Now, there's a little bit of a story going along with this vlog. I already filmed most of it, and then I ended up having to scrap the whole thing because um, I had a few difficulties getting some of the, the pieces of video moved over to my editing device. So I decided I'd just start over. Um, I'd get a whole new vlog for you guys so that it's not choppy or messed up. But today I have a couple things to show you guys. So first of all, I got my first LEGO DC Comics sets, which I got two poly bags. I'm going to talk a little bit about the future of my channel just a bit at the end. And then I also got the LEGO Ideas um, Dinosaur Fossil set. It's been around for about a year and I thought I'm, I'm a big dinosaur fan, big Jurassic World th fan. So I thought I'd pick that up, live stream that build and show you guys. So I already did all these live streams. And it's a lot of fun when you guys come in and hang out and ask questions, but let's get straight into showing you those sets that I built and what I think about them, and then other on to the other stuff. Alrighty, going back to the old theme for my channel, where I used to uh, put the camera right in front of me um, so that you guys couldn't see me and film my videos, but here I've got the two LEGO uh, Batman poly bags that I bought. I actually bought three, but I'll show you guys that one in a minute and what my plan is to do with that one. Now the first one I built is this one, and the uh, wheels on this one were actually made to be built um, heading straight out. Um, and I mean, I thought that looks fine, but in the set, you're supposed to be able to move the wheels all around um, and put them into that that kind of position. And originally, they used some of these pieces, these just long Technic axles in between those. But I swapped them out with a few uh, half pin, half axle pieces um, to make this uh, basically make it so that the wheels could move freely from one, one another. And then I put the back ones a little bit higher than the front ones to make it kind of a, a little bit of a low rider, maybe. Now for the second poly bag, this is the Joker Battle Training um, Battle Pack, I guess, kind of. Um, I really like the Joker figure. Obviously, I said this is my first DC Comics set, so this is my first DC Comics minifigure. Um, and I would like to get a Batman at some point, but I guess I guess this little uh, cowl piece kind of holds me off for now. Um, there's a couple pieces on this that you're supposed to knock off um, with his giant blaster that you see there. So that's basically all for that set. Now we'll get on over to the dinosaur fossil set. Now that's, this set is a, a bit of a large set. I'm going to start with some of the smaller details, kind of show you guys this fairly quickly. But there's a little bin of supplies. Now if you want to see a real review on this set, go check out Jang Bricks, obviously, who does really complete reviews. Um, there's a little minifigure of a professor or a paleontologist, and then a, um, a little skeleton figure. This is the Lego Sapien figure, actually. And I really like that Lego added a little bit of humor into this set, so people don't, don't criticize this set too much for being uh, realistic or anything. But all three of these dinosaurs, the Pteranodon, the um, Triceratops, and the T-Rex, are 1 to 32 or 38 scale of the original of a real, I guess, fossil. Not exactly sure about that, but I know it's in the uh, in the 30s. But we've got the little Pteranodon. Really like how his head went together. This one's probably my second favorite. Um, it was my least favorite when before I got this set built, but once I built it, I, I really, really started liking this guy. Um, then we've got the Triceratops. Now the Triceratops is a little bit difficult to pick up if you don't know if you've basically never built the set before, because the, the the sides on it right here, these two bone pieces, um, those will just pop off if you try to pick it up. So you've got to really stretch your armor and grab the legs to hold it, or just just go with the stand and hold it, because as you see, there's some Technic pins holding that all the way down to the base. Now for the third dinosaur of this set, there is the T-Rex. Now this guy is completely massive. You see his tail extending all the way out there. Um, up to his head. Now this guy is a lot larger than a Jurassic World T-Rex that Legos made. Um, there's a little bit of a side-by-side -side, um, for those two dinosaurs, but I really like how this guy went together. There's really only one jaw position you can get him in that looks really nice because it kind of sticks out in the back or in the front. Um, 
Also, there's a neck joint right here that is uh, completely loose and it'll just fall down. But other than that, I really, really like this build and this is my favorite build on this set. One thing I forgot to mention is all the builds have a little plaque just like that Lego Sapien one. Um, this one's Tyrannosaurus Rex, um, Tricera Triceratops Horridus, and Pteranodon Longiceps. And now let's get into a little bit of a, a sit back, relax part of the video where I show you guys or tell you guys what the future of my channel is going to be. Alrighty, I'm sitting back now, um, just kind of taking it all in, and um, uh, that part of the video was a little bit quick, um, just trying to get these vlogs a little bit faster because uh, most people on YouTube, they're, um, most people, I guess, I've checked the analytics and statistics on YouTube Studio, and most people will sit down and watch my videos for about 58 to 59 seconds. So most of you probably won't even watch this whole vlog up to this point, but I'm gonna put this out here, get a little bit of glare from my window. But um, the other Lego Batman polybag set I got was the Batwing, the, the mini Batwing set. Now I really like this set, I do wanna build it, but I decided I'd keep this one, and since I have it, um, I'm going to wait and see if, if we can reach 300 subscribers and get a mock contest. Now I've got some ideas for an animator contest for um, uh, such things as Lego stop motion animation, but I really wanted um, my first kind of real contest. I did a 100 subscriber contest, but I wasn't able to make a follow up video on that. But I want my first contest to, um, to be at least 300 subscribers, a higher amount, um, but I also want it to be a mock contest because that's what I really do on my channel. Now I would like to do an animator contest at some point, but I think I've only got a couple guys that do stop motions subscribed to my channel at this point, but I would like to do this at some point. I'd also like to live stream with more people and hang out with them. So as I said, I wanted to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Now that's a bit of a stretch. Um, I made that idea quite recently, and I don't know if we'll get there. So I'm thinking about, instead of gaining 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, working on getting to 300 subscribers so that I can do this contest. Now, by the filming of this video, we're at 169, so we're over halfway there, um, but I guess tell your friends, and if you do want to participate in this contest, now I don't ever ask for shoutouts or try to do something like that, but if you want to do something to promote my channel, that will get me up in subs um, so that we can do this contest. That's totally fine. Uh, that's okay with me. But I really want to get that in. I really would like to uh, do a little bit more community stuff on my channel with more people. So I'm going to start vlogging uh, every Lego set to almost every Lego set that I get on this channel. And just build it up on, the, on a live stream. Now... A couple sets that I do want to get uh, soon are the 501st Battle Pack set and the, um, uh, I guess the AT or AAT is a little bit cool. I don't know if I'll be picking that one up, but the other set is um, the Iron Man Armory. I have the Hall of Armor, so I'd really like to put that with that one, but I don't know. It'll probably come out uh, close to September. Um, and of course the 501st selling out everywhere and it's even off lego.com and it says coming soon So it'll be a little bit before I get those and get to live streaming those but I guess I will see you guys in the next video um, Let's get to 300 subscribers and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is BMD out